Our rail simulators are really designed to allow rail companies to train their staff in a, in a safe environment. Hi, I'm Tony Mildred, Business Unit Manager Training and E-Learning with SIDAC. The rail environment has a lot of risks associated with it. You've got rail vehicles moving around, they're heavy, they're dangerous, they're quiet with electric trains and it's not really safe or convenient given that you're running a public service. What we do is we provide an environment where we can run scenarios covering the full range of what people need to be able to do in a completely safe way. We also allow the opportunity to repeat those scenarios for everybody. That has some advantages because uh, when you're delivering new trains and they start rolling off the production line every few weeks, you need a critical mass of crew that can operate those um, reliably and safely from day one. One of the key challenges for us with particularly a new vehicle is that that vehicle is going through design changes right up until the moment that you train and even sometimes after the moment that you deliver the simulator. We have to work very, very closely with the train builder um, so that we make sure that the, the simulator reflects the train in every detail. As we see uh, more young people entering the industry, we're finding that their expectations of, of how you learn and the learning environments are slightly different. It's appropriate to everybody, each of those, the older workers, the, the younger workers, have slightly different ways in which they learn and how they assimilate information. I'd encourage anyone who's looking at introducing uh, simulation into their, their training program to go and talk to other people who've been there before find out from them what would you do differently if you had your chance to do it again. Talk to us um, as suppliers as well to say, well, what have you learned from doing this for you know, close to 25 years now? And I'd also encourage them uh, to look very closely at the learning that they want to encourage. If they've got particular learning outcomes, rather than starting from the, uh, the mechanical and electrical hardware end, that, that's almost a given. Really start from, well, what is it that you want people to learn? What's the environment in which you want them to practice? What's important and where are the high risk areas? I think South Australia is in a really good place uh, in terms of simulation. There's a great base of engineering talent in South Australia. Um, our defence industry and our motor vehicle industry have had a lot to do with that. We're lucky that we have some really smart people to choose from and we've had the opportunity to, uh, to build up that expertise over a period of time.